Hello and welcome. Today we'll talk about three essential devices in electrical systems, MCCB, ELCB, and RCCB. While they might seem similar, they're all designed to protect circuits, right? Each has its own distinct functions and applications. Additionally, it is also made mandatory by Central Electricity Authority CEA to install a right protective device in home and commercial places. First up is the MCCB, or Molded Case Circuit Breaker. This device is a crucial component in electrical systems. MCCBs are designed to protect circuits from overcurrent, which includes both overload and short circuits. They act as a safeguard, ensuring that electrical systems remain safe and operational. They're most common in industrial and commercial power systems, where the electrical loads are substantial. These environments demand reliable protection, and MCCBs deliver just that. One of the cool things about MCCBs is that they come with adjustable trip settings. You can fine-tune the MCCB to react to different levels of overcurrent, ensuring that it trips and cuts off the power at just the right moment. This customization is key in preventing damage. However, it's important to remember that MCCBs don't offer protection against earth leakage. For that, other devices are needed. Next, we have the ELCB, or Earth Leakage Circuit Breaker. This device was a game changer in electrical safety. ELCBs were designed to detect and interrupt earth leakage currents, which could pose serious risks. It constantly monitors the voltage difference between the earth wire and the live wire, ensuring safety. If it senses any imbalance, it trips and cuts off the power, preventing a potential shock hazard or fire. While ELCBs were the go-to solution for earth leakage protection back in the day, they've largely been replaced by RCCBs, or residual current circuit breakers. Still, you might encounter ELCBs in older buildings or setups, where retrofitting the electrical system isn't feasible or cost-effective. Finally, we have the RCCB, or Residual Current Circuit Breaker. RCCBs are designed to be incredibly sensitive, detecting even the slightest imbalances in current between the live and neutral wires. These imbalances can signal a potential leakage or shock hazard. RCCBs are lightning fast, often tripping at as low as 30 milliamps of leakage. However, it's important to remember that RCCCBs don't provide protection against overload or short circuits. They're often used in conjunction with other devices like MCBs or fuses for comprehensive electrical protection, because its limitation that ELCBs rely becomes on when detecting voltage on the earth wire, meaning they won't detect a fault if there is no earth leakage. So there you have it, folks. Understanding the different types of electrical protection devices is crucial for ensuring safety and efficiency in any electrical system. The MCCB, ELCB, and RCCCB, three different devices, each with a specific role in electrical systems. They are designed to protect against various electrical faults and hazards. Choosing the right one really depends on the application and the level of protection needed. It's important to assess the specific requirements of your electrical setup. MCCBs are the workhorses for heavy-duty protection, tackling those high currents like champs. They are ideal for industrial and commercial applications where high current protection is essential. RCCBs are the safety superheroes, always vigilant in protecting us from those sneaky leakage currents. They are perfect for residential and light commercial settings where safety is a top priority so it is recommended to apply the correct rating of RCCB in your home as a primary protection. Now we decided that RCCB is best for protection, but choosing the right RCCB is a key, so here is the explaining the right RCCB. The RCCB is of two types based on the pole, two pole and four pole. It also differentiates based on the tripping curve characteristics means kind and sensitivity of protection offer. The two pole is used in single phase supply arrangement, and four-pole is used for three-phase supply arrangements. The sensitivity of protection is of four types, that is type A, C, A, F, and B. RCCB with type A, C is simple, as its name is used for A, C supply protection. It cannot detect the DC fault. It is used in home application where immersion heater, lights, electric showers, and similar equipment are in use. 
RCCB with Type A is an upgraded version of Type AC. In addition to the AC current fault, it detects pulsating DC current faults. Type A RCCB specifically includes circuits that contain appliances like inverters, motor drives, and UPS systems, but the limitation is it detects only up to 6 mA DC current. RCCB with Type F covers all the capabilities of the above two types of RCCB, A and AC, but with ability to sense frequencies other than the standard 50-60 Hz. It can detect up to 1000 Hz, or 1 KHIZ, making it well suited for use with variable frequency drives and other electronic equipment. Use this type of RCCB for applications, where you need to protect persons from the fault currents of modern washing machines fans and other equipment that uses a variable frequency drive or supply. It is good to note that these types of RCCB will also protect against smooth DC faults for up to 10 milliamps, which is higher than the 6 milliamps that the Type A RCCB breaker offers. At the last, father of all, Type B RCCB. It combines all the capabilities of the other three types of RCCB, A, A, C, and F, but with one added feature the ability to measure and react to smooth DC current faults. I hope you will get all the knowledge about the protective device. Please comment if you install the new or replace which type of new RCCB. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, when it comes to electric safety, knowledge is power. Always stay informed and make the right choices for your electrical systems.